Hey everyone. Today we're going to do isometric shapes. If you've already started this, this video can be a, just a little helper for you to uh, get through this task. What we want to do is we want to take the three shapes that we drew in oblique, which was a cube, a triangular prism, and a small staircase, and we're going to transfer that into isometric. Now isometric is already explained in the notes. It's um, another way of representing shapes that gives the perception of depth. Uh, but each of the edges of the shapes, like oblique, measures accurately. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Remember, as always, we, we label what we're doing. For today, it's isometric shapes. And in the bottom right corner is always your name. So go ahead and pause the video and do that right now. <clears throat> right, once you've uh, labelled your piece of paper that you're going to be drawing on, I want you to go to the bottom left corner and count up six squares. So you start here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And on that sixth line there, that runs all the way horizontally across the page, I want you to lightly rule a pencil line like that. Okay. And if you just count along two, two uh, dots on that line, you go one, two. So you're going to go across two rows of dots because the, the dots are offset so that the lines that run this way are running at 30 degrees. And you're going to, you're going to start on that second dot just there. And you're going to use your ruler. And if you recall from the last time that we did this, uh, in oblique, each of the edges of the shape was three centimeters. So we're going to measure a three centimeter line. Now, whereas with oblique, you started with the front face of the shape, in isometric, you start with the front corner of a shape. That is the closest to you, that's in the foreground. And so what once you've done that, you use these lines that run this way. See how there's lines that run vertically like that. There's also lines of dots that run at an angle like that and at an angle like this, okay? Those are called isometric lines, which means that if you ruled a line on it, that, that runs at 30 degrees to a, to a horizontal line. And the cool thing about these dots is that they're all one centimeter apart when they're measured down the isometric lines. Not when you measure straight up and down vertically, but when you measure that way. So if I go one, two, three, I know that that's going to be three centimeters there. And so I'm going to mark the bottom of my cube like that, and the bottom of my cube like that. Why don't you go ahead and start your shape like that. Right, once you've done uh, those three edges, you can measure up from that end three centimeters. So you see how I've measured up from three to one zero, so that's three centimeters. Measure it like that and do the same on this side. Remembering that the dots going this way are not, are not one centimeter apart, it's just when we measure on those lines here. Now I can go ahead and join those together like that. And you see those two lines, they're parallel to the line of dots there. Then I'm going to draw another line and it's going to go just past where, it, where I want it to go. So it's just a little bit more than three centimeters. And it's going to be parallel with this line here. So I'm just going to draw it very lightly and do the same over this side. Make sure your ruler is parallel with the line of dots. Okay, and that's the back half of the the cube, I'll just move that across and I'll make that line a little bit bolder, like that. Okay, so that's your cube. And once you've done a cube, you can move on to doing the triangular prism. And what you're going to do is we're going to count across one, two, three, four lines, a dot on that line, one, two, three, four, and that's your start point there. We're going to use the start corner of your 
um, triangular prism and draw a triangle and the, the prism is going to go back that way. So if, if you remember from what, when we did oblique, that was four centimeters, the bottom of the triangle. So we go across four centimeters like that. Find the middle and we go up three centimeters. Now remember you need to use your ruler whenever you're going to vertical. Mark the three centimeters up there because your triangle was three centimeters high. And you measure down to that corner like that and down to the corner. So just pause there and I want you to go ahead and draw your triangle, uh, the, tri the front face of your shape starting from that front corner there. Right, if you remember the depth of your triangular, triangular prism was four centimeters. So you go one, two, three, four to there. We'll roll down like that. We'll do the same up here, but the problem with this here is it does, it's not on the line of isometric dots. So we need to just rule four centimeters parallel to that line. So I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four. And then join those two dots together. And there you have a triangular prism. So finish that off. And if you need to wind back and just have a look. Okay, now on the same line from the corner, the bottom corner there, I want you to count along one, two, three, four dots. And just mark that dot right there like that. Okay, now if you remember, our staircase was uh, 3D and it was four across and it went up in, in, as a three rising uh, staircase. So what you need to do is you need to start by ruling just here three centimeters. And then ruling up three centimeters, which we'll need the ruler for, of course because when we go horizontal, we must use the ruler because the dots are not one centimeter apart. Then we need to come up here one centimeter. Each of the stairs, as you recall, all right, was um, one centimeter high. And then the line needs to go back one centimeter to here. So keep your ruler parallel to the line and mark the dot just there. Then it needs to go up one centimeter again. And then it needs to come across one centimeter. And then hopefully if we go up one centimeter, that mark there will be in line if we hold it with there. And then we can just join those dots up. One, two, three, four. six and that is the rise and the run you remember we discussed the rise and the run previously of stairs that's the rise one centimeter and the run is one centimeter rise run rise run then what we'll do is we'll go across four centimeters because they were four centimeters wide to there Okay, then oh, it's not a great straight, I've definitely ruled straighter lines than that in my life, so I'll just come back in again and make sure I get that bang on that mark. There we go. And so that, and then you can just go ahead and roll some faint lines across like that from the corner. Find your one centimeter mark, nice and light. One centimeter mark.
These lines are again all parallel with the isometric lines. My ruler is always okay. and then I go rise, make sure my line is parallel with my isometric line, run to there. Rise, staying parallel at all times with my isometric lines. Here's my run. Rise, and lastly, run. And there is my staircase. I'm going to go over these and just make them a bit darker. I can rub those out if I like. I don't, you don't have to. Just tidy things up a bit. And what we've done here, we've drawn an isometric cube an isometric triangular prism and a small isometric staircase.